The Medal of Honor is the highest award given by our country for acts of heroism and valor in combat. This is the story of one hero. In 1965, after finishing high school, Sammy Davis enlisted in the Army. On November 18, 1967, Davis's unit was airlifted to a tiny island in the Mekong Delta, near Cai Le, Vietnam. So we landed at 8 o'clock in the morning. As soon as we spread the trails on the 105 howitzer, we started firing, and we fired the weapon all day. The mortars were just raining down. I could see the enemy all around us. They fired at my muzzle blast. When it hit the shield, it blew me off the piece. From mid-thigh up to and including my fourth lumbar vertebra, I had about 30 beehive holes that just passed through me. I had a flak jacket on, which is the only thing that saved my back. And I didn't think that I was probably going to see daylight, but I wasn't going to quit. If I don't do my job, those guys behind me ain't got a chance. So I thought, well, I'll see if I can get off one round from the howitzer. And then it went off, and it went boom. It was this eerie eerie quiet. And I seen Gwendell Holloway standing up waving these boonie hats saying, don't shoot, I'm a GI. So I crawled down to the river, swam across the river. There was a foxhole there. And instead of just one man being in it, there were three men in it. So I asked the man above to give me the strength to carry all three of my brothers at one time. Jim Deister was one of the last people that we loaded. And Jim Deister is alive and well today, living in Salina, Kansas. I got to hold Jim Deister's grandbabies. I didn't do anything heroic. I did my job. That's what soldiers do. And if there was one of these given that night, there should be at least 42 of them. You know, I didn't go to war to kill people. I went to war because I loved my country. And when I got over there, the reason why we fought so hard was because we discovered we loved each other.